five, six or seven of this. I can't remember. You know what? I need to get Matt Smith's screwdriver because I'm going to be talking about Matt Smith in this. But nah. Okay, here we go. The top ten least favorite Matt Smith Doctor Who episodes, or of Matt Smith's era, I should say. And at number ten, name of the Doctor. His name is the Doctor, or Doctor Who. They don't actually tell us in this story what his name is. Trenzalore is where he ends up. Clara jumps into the Doctor's time stream and saves every single version of him. Yay! Faster and Strax and Jenny are in this. It's kind of odd, but hey, I. I, I kind of like Strax. Vaster and Jenny are pretty cool, but I don't get the whole interspecies lesbian marriage thing. What? Okay, so this is basically just the prequel to the, to the 50th anniversary special and introducing John Hurt as a doctor, which I thought was pretty cool, but that's really the only thing that's good about this episode is John Hurt at the very end. How did the doctor get out of his own time stream? The Great Intelligence were pretty cool. Uh, the Whisper Men, they were awesome, but didn't really do much. Uh, but anyway, that, that's the number 10 of the worst, of the least favorite, sorry. Number 9, The Beast Below. So you're traveling in the future, traveling to the future, uh, and you see a country that's bolted together on top of a star whale. What? The smiley men or the whatever the heck they are. Whenever you do what they don't want, they, they spin around and make a different face. Liz 10. Okay, she's pretty cool. I didn't get this episode at all. So if you finally set the star whale f free, given this freedom, why does he then continue to carry the people that have been torturing him for God knows how many hundreds of years? Okay, you can argue that he's very old and very kind and the very last of his kind, just like the doctor, like Amy said. But wouldn't you get? Wouldn't you have had enough of it, getting tortured like that? Just no. I did not enjoy this episode, and it's one I do not watch again. Number nine, Amy's. No, sorry, number eight. Amy's Choice, the Dream Lord, Rory's beating up old people with sticks. Why the hell is it Amy's Choice? Why can't it be Rory's Choice, or the Doctor's Choice, or which world he wants to be in? Nah, sorry, didn't do anything for me. Okay, we'll just move on to number seven. Closing time. If you know me and you've watched a couple of my videos, you'll know that I love the Cybermen. But not in this. The council have relaying roads and somehow that's now got the Cybermen to power up. Where did these Cybermen come from anyway? It's the throwaway line of, oh, you've redecorated. I don't like it. I, yeah, I don't like that. You could have waited until the day of the Doctor to say that. And they blew up from love. You defeated them with love. Seriously? Ah! Okay, Stormageddon was pretty cool in this, but apart from that, that's the only good thing about this whole freaking cluster. I'll just move on, shall I, to number six. Night Terrors. What in the blue f was that? A boy that isn't a boy but an alien coming down to earth to make this woman who can't have a baby make her happy the old lady in the trash that was pretty funny actually the monsters in the closet who commissioned this to go past through freaking production no I don't watch that one and hopefully never will again unless I'm in some sort of coma or whatever Moving on to number five. Ooh, the Crimson Horror. 
Are you kidding me? What the hell was this story about? Sweetville. I can't even remember her name, but the old woman that was in it is just cringy, just... And then that blood-sucking, freaking whatever the heck it was is controlling her. The doctor's all red and can't move and he's a monster. Clara's stuck somewhere. Oh my god, number four, Nightmare in Silver. How annoying were those kids? I mean, seriously, really, really bad child acting. Okay, the Cybermen were not scary in this. In fact, they wasted the Cybermen in this. The Cybermen are supposed to be small, uh, slow, clunky people that's been upgraded. Scary. And they chase after you. Slowly. I get that they upgrade and it gets better and everything, but now they can run and they're quicker than anything. Who the hell would name a character Porridge? And that Punishment Platoon Leader just pissed me off. I got pissed off with the Punishment Platoon Leader people. Oh, glad I'm never saying that again. So, no, I don't ever go back and watch this one. It's ridiculously stupid. Clara's just annoying in this as well. And they're on some kind of moon. What the... Moving on. Number three. The God Complex. Really? Who wrote this? Who, who wrote this needs to be shot. It's just so cringy. This is actually one that I never actually finished watching. So I have no idea what happens at the end. Okay, I watched it up until when whatever that creature is dies and the whole hotel is not actually a hotel and how did what how did they get there to start with facing your fears before you die R really we've already had that story amy's obsession with the doctor what we already knew she was obsessed with him moving on to an even more cringy one, number two, let's kill Hitler. Let's put Hitler in a cupboard. Crop circles and cars and their best friend from their childhood is actually their daughter who turns out to be River. What the... Nothing happens in this episode. River's, well, there's a regeneration from Melody to River. And Melody was already annoying enough. And then River just completely lost her character for me. It was She was just annoying as hell in this story. But yeah, this is actually one that I finished. Just I was laughing at it, actually. And the Doctor dies and River gives him the rest of his regeneration. The rest of her regeneration is to save him. Okay, how... If she has given him the rest of her regenerations, the River Song is the third regeneration of this particular character. And Time Lords have 12 regenerations. So that leaves her with 9. So she's just given him 9 regenerations. So you think that now he has 9 regenerations, that he would, wouldn't have to be... That whole, that whole Time of the Doctor thing wouldn't have to happen when the Time Lords gave him an extra cycle, regeneration cycle. And how the hell is Rivers... Uh, how can she regenerate anyway? She's not a Time Lord. She's a human that was conceived on the TARDIS. It makes absolutely no sense. Anyway, moving on to number one. And even more more cringeworthy and it's the same villains as 
the ones in number two, I can't even remember the name is that crap. But number one, The Wedding of River Song. Seriously, that's all I'm going to say on that one. The Wedding of River Song. Good God, who wrote this crap? Oh, they have to touch and kiss for time to move on. The whole train or whatever gone into a pyramid. You got friggin' what's his name? Winston Churchill was the Holy Roman Empire. What the hell? This just summed up series six for me after the first two, which are all going to be on a later video. A cluster of. I don't really want to swear on YouTube. But anyway, that was my least. top ten least favorite Matt Smith uh, episodes or episodes in Matt Smith's era. I keep getting those mixed up. What was your least favorite Matt Smith episodes? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching and like and subscribe.